If it's trending, it's here now. now. This now. is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. A lot of basketball. A lot of basketball. Oh. Women's tournament, incredible. Men's tournament, awesome. As somebody who's not really into college basketball, it was really fun to watch. Yeah, it was a good weekend. A really good weekend. Uh, so everybody's talking about that. Stanford trending. Um, one of the interesting things I think that happened during March Madness was this referee that got taken out of the uh, NC State Chattanooga game. The women's she, game, yeah. Yeah, during the women's game because she failed to reveal that she had gotten like a master's at, uh, was it? Chattanooga. 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 So, and then halfway through the game, it's they just like, like pull her. And they say there's a form you fill out you're, and then ask you clearly, do you have any, you know, name, list any schools, you know, you have reference to whatever. And she just didn't put it on there. It's like, it's like yeah. it's a big thing to well, miss. Hey guys, I don't know. Uh, we just figured that out, and we're going to have to pull you in the middle of the game at halftime. And they pulled her out and put a substitute referee in. It seems intentional right. to me, like, to, to not reveal that. Well, she probably just figured, hey, who cares? It's women's basketball. <laughs> I don't think that's, I think that's what, what's the case at all. I think that's what she may have said. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Go, Caitlin. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Caitlin's getting some star. heat. You see the heat Caitlin got over the weekend? They caught her own dad in the yeah. crowd yelling, shut up and play right. at her. Cause she was, she's flops and I don't know. Oh, yeah. She's going to be demonized now. She's not supposed to be where she's, she is. No, nobody So said if her that. dad says something to her from the crowd, if that had been any other player's dad, they'd have been like, oh, look at that. That's where this discipline she has comes from. It's from her dad. Good. He knows how to settle her down, even when the coach can't or whatever. That's what makes her so great. Now it's like, look at her. Look at her. <laughs> her dad's look. yelling at her, and she's terrible. She doesn't deserve it. Nobody yeah. said she shouldn't deserve oh, it. But she you didn't say that, flopping. but a lot of people say it. They're going to come after her, and you know why. I want them to. You know why. I want them, we I, know why. I want them, them to put the Pete Maravich information in its proper context. Hmm. <laughs> That's the only thing I don't care about. <laughs> Uh, it is. Uh, we're now officially in spring, but there's a couple of states that are under blizzard warnings. Yes. Nebraska, wild, yeah. South Dakota, Oklahoma, Colorado. They're expected to get more snow this week than they did all winter Some in, in some places. It's kind of crazy. So, And it is freezing where we live. I woke up this morning. I was in for a mm. shock. I mean, it is chilly, chilly. Would you rather be in a place that has a blizzard warning or a lizard warning? <laughs> A lizard. Yeah, warning. it's going to be like dropping lizards all over the place. Blizzard. Or, rather be or blizzard snow, warning. yeah. I'd rather be in a blizzard than a lizard. I'd rather be in a lizard thing because I can stay inside, in which you're going to do in a blizzard anyway. Yeah, yeah, but a lizard can get inside, depending on how small they are. Oh, well, if they're little, I'm thinking iguanas falling from oh. the sky. Isn't there a place that iguanas fall from trees and stuff? Yeah, Florida. In, in Florida and other other places where it may get cold for one or two days and then they freeze and then drop back out onto people when it warms up again. So you can get both in Florida. You get a blizzard then a lizard storm. Well, I don't know if you could get a blizzard. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, really uh, no, uh, I mean, not I'm yet. Not, it hasn't. Let's see what I can find out about blizzards in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lot of money up for grabs. So the Powerball, uh, the jackpot is eight hundred million dollars. The next drawing is tonight, and then mm. the Mega Millions is now over one billion dollars, and that drawing is tomorrow night. Yeah, I'm gonna so, win both of them. Yeah, you gonna double up? I'm gonna win them both. Good for you. <laughs> so those are just a few <laughs> things that are now trending. All right. I don't know whether I was sad to learn this information or whether I was eh, whatever to learn this information. But one member of the Ace and TJ show um, participates in the use of performance enhancing drugs. Oh, we'll tell you who that is and the whole story coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. Back again with our friend Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies. Now, uh, Richard, tell us about this cash out equity thing, instant cash, add water, and there it is. It is. It, 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 that's how it is. <laughs> instant equity. I mean, you, t you do the application today, you could close today and get your money in five days. There's no underwriting. There's no appraisal. You know, I think somebody went, didn't you do something like that? Yeah, absolutely. It's exactly yeah. what I did. Instant equity. <laughs> it's very easy. And Richard yeah. walks you through the process. Find out more at homewithrichard.com. 
This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Well, we kind of laugh at Tech D Rob about playing all of these nerd board games that he plays and how seriously he takes, uh, you know, his his escape room games and all of that kind of stuff. But I don't, I know, well, I know I had no idea how serious it was until um, he he was telling me about what was what what had happened this weekend. You played in two tournaments, right? Yes. And they were both Star Wars game tournaments? Yes, that's correct. All right. So you didn't do as well as you wanted to in Saturday's tournament. Yes, yeah, Saturday I, mean, I went two and one, so I did lose one time. Okay. So which so you played against Sunday. Which tournament did you prepare for by um, by taking Delta 8 and, um, and a really strong... Um, energy drink uh well i don't i wouldn't call it the preparation for it but it was the night before i was going to go to do one on saturday i mean on sunday uh because i went to a friend's house and we played some board games and i partook in or partaked uh in those two items that you had just listed and what kind of energy drink was it like the four locos it was a four loco (laughs) wait so you had like delta (laughs) eight and a four loco yeah 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 see uh, anything to win brother ace anything to win (laughs) But wouldn't those two counterbalance each other? Well, you ball. know what? I was I was out of it. <laughs> I, don't, I can't tell you. <laughs> I cannot answer your questions currently, unfortunately. So, so that's technically a legalized speedball. That's what you did. Speed? You did a speedball. <laughs> Just a lame version of it. <laughs> <laughs> so it ended up not helping you, right? No, in we were the, playing a hamper your um, performance. Yeah, we were playing a board game that I'd never played before, and I still don't know how to play that game. <laughs> Like they were going over the rules and they were very kind to me because I was I was I, every every time it come back to me I go, so what do I do again? <laughs> yeah, so you were high as a satellite <laughs> sipping a four loco. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So all of that stuff about you know what Riggins you, you know pointed out last week that you were off of the energy drinks but you had you bought two because you needed one but you got two for the price of one so once you finished those two you were going to be done and, and then that was up until the weekend when you get the strongest energy drink possible well the four locos aren't aren't energy drinks anymore because that's legal they're just like malt liquors yeah but but it's like it's like 14 percent alcohol okay all right so four loco is not an energy drink anymore it's a it's like a it's like a a schlitz malt liquor bull or an old english or in that category (laughs) yeah yeah, yeah. wow (laughs) you might as well take like a yellow jacket and like (laughs) hmm I was, wow. I was hurting Sunday in, the, in in my Star Wars tournament, though. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I pl- I see your Boba Fett and raise you on the Yoda. Uh, I played Boba Fett. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Oh. He, you think he's going to let somebody else be Boba Fett or uh-uh. whatever that is? No. Uh-uh. Never. Uh-uh. In a Star Wars game card tournament. <laughs> <laughs> uh, love it. Yeah. So did you win any prizes? Oh, we got a whole bunch of packs for playing and stuff. Yeah. Other than stupid card. ones? Well, nothing you, you were playing been stupid games yeah. and you won stupid prizes. Just like that. Man. Delta mm-hmm. 8's the name of my squadron. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rob, were you able to find that, get that sound bite I am from work- that story? I'm working on it right now, so I should have it here in just a minute. Okay. All right. Something uh, absolutely bonkers has happened, and an eyewitness report of it is going to leave you shocked and maybe even gagging a little. Coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Hi, I'm Thomas Davis, and let me tell you why I'm a proud member of Team Neogenics. If your nagging pain is keeping you from being active, do something about it. Join the long list of pros and average Joes who have found relief with our stem cell and regenerative therapies. After trying all the others, I decided to try Neogenics. My knees and shoulders haven't felt this good since my college days. If you want to get back in the game, do what I did. Visit Neogenics, where all you have to lose is pain. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. 
Hey, there'll be a new edition of TJ and Jody's House podcast up today uh, around noon Eastern. So make sure you get that on the Ace and TJ family app. It's fire. Oh, but there is a story in there today about um, how Jody was almost um, scared to death. Like literally almost had a heart attack. It was bad because of something that scared her. And then uh, my commentary on it is going to make a lot of people mad. So usually no controversy on TJ and Jody's house, but I, I think there will be today. So so get all you can get of that. So this story is uh, um, from around the uh, Bakersfield, California area. Um, there's an Amtrak train station called Wasco Amtrak Station. And um, Friday, there was an incident where a pedestrian was hit by a train, according to this report. Now, that's not the shocking part of the story. Evidently, the pedestrian that was hit by the train was um, destroyed completely, like dismembered. That's not the shocking part of the story. The shocking part of the story is when someone uh, saw um, a, a passerby with the victim's leg that had been uh, severed. Uh, what? Now, here is yeah. a description of someone, a construction uh, man, who was working in the vicinity and saw said person with the leg. I'm not sure from where, but he came this way, and he walked all through here, and he was waving a like, so person's leg. And well, he was, he started chewing on it over there. He was biting it, and then he was hitting it against the wall and everything. And so <laughs> they saw the the passerby with the leg, and saw him chewing on it and eating it and banging it up against the wall, going going nuts on it. Well, that's not going shocking. going to town. Uh, chewing on it and banging it against the wall. And so finally, when the police got there, they had to chase him off, and I think he dropped the leg and and uh, was arrested for tampering with evidence or yeah. something like that. You think he might be um, not all with it? It's possible. You don't think he's just like, was on his way to work yeah. and just decided, oh, hey, look, there's a leg. There's Let me see leg. what I can do with that. It's not that, it, what you call normal behavior. Just waiting on the train to get to his job and like, oh, that yeah. was a tragedy. Look at that leg over there. Mm-hmm. I'm hungry. Anybody else hungry? <laughs> Show hands. That dude they interviewed was very calm to have witnessed this information. <laughs> Wasn't he, yeah. though? He, he is very calm to witness that. I'm not sure from where, but he came this way, and he walked all through here, and he was waving a like, so person's leg. And well, he was he started chewing on it over there. He was biting it, and then he was hitting it against the wall and everything. And yeah. I'd have been like, so, he was, he was hey, biting it. Did see that? He's, he's banging it against the wall. I, man, I was about to throw up. <laughs> exactly. I looked at that freak and I was like, drop that leg, freak. No. He was hitting on the wall and everything. Ugh. Okay, I got to go to work. You need? Okay, I'm back to work. <laughs> okay. I know I say this all the time and a lot of times it's in jest, but sometimes it's not. Um, I called this and I have been on top of this story for a long time. Now it's trendy. What is it, and how was I so right about it? We'll tell you coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to your money and things like a cash out refi, you hear a lot of stuff these days. Information is flying around, but here's the bottom line. You want someone you can trust. Well, here is someone that we trust, Richard Takato and the Richard Takato Companies. We worked with Richard for years, and you know all the ins and outs, and more importantly, you give everybody options. That's right. We have a lot of options. You know, this one lady, we just refinanced her house, paid off all of her credit card debts. Got really, she even paid her car off. She's saving a thousand dollars a month, so that really changes her life and her, you know, her financial well-being. Yeah. And she didn't have to make a house payment until 2024. So, I mean, there's not a better time to do it is when you need the extra money every month. They call it cash out is what we call it in the business. Cash, cash out. out. <laughs> That's right. Cash out. So it's one free five minute phone call right now. 704-800-4719. 704-800-4719 or go to homewithrichard.com. Do it today. You'll be so glad you did. The Richard Ducato Companies. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. 
They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. Live each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So a long, 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 long time ago, it was in the afternoon, and I sent Riggins a message on the uh, on the textings, and I and I had a link on it to an Instagram video, and I said, "Hey, this is going to be a thing. It's foreign right now, but I think it's going to be a thing. And would it be something if I did it just as a as a demonstration, just to see how well it worked?" that uh that we could get good video uh good good uh, response from it on the social medias and he looked it up and he looked all through it and he goes yeah but i just i don't see that being available it, only people doing it online or in the middle east or somewhere well now the new york post has written an article about a trend that's on the way and it is two pays the hyper realistic ones are the hottest new flex in america it's a flex yeah because this is where they go in they take this just naked wig just a blob of a wig uh that glues into your scalp a lot stronger than you know regular old toupees do and then you can take a shower in it and it'll go for six months before it needs any any maintenance um you get it cut into a stylish look. They put just the blank, like just an mm-hmm. uncut wig on you. Cut it in the style that you want it. Cut your hair that's around it into the match the colors, and it does look realistic. And that's that's becoming the new trend now with the with the bald men's. But they say it's about a thousand dollars every time you get a new one, and that you'd need a new one about once a year. Okay, so it costs you a thousand dollars a year. Yeah. That's cheaper than doing hair plugs or something. Uh huh. Yeah, it's cheaper than a hair transplant. What does a hair transplant cost? It can be ten thousand. Oh god. You know, it's they're expensive. It's expensive. Especially Ooh. if you're really, really, you've really bought. The more yeah. you need, the more it costs. The more it costs. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> do you want to do this? Well, I mean, the ones I saw were in. It was like in Turkey. Yeah. I think is where they did these hyper realistic okay. wigs. Well, well, now they're doing them on our shores. They're doing them here. Okay. Yeah. All right. What do you have a style in mind? No. Okay. Because no. these are very like all the ones I saw were almost like um, for young uh, people. Very much. Yeah. 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 Almost so, like Justin Bieber. But you wear the wig twenty four seven, right? Do they? Mm-hmm. Right. So the the wig is yeah. somehow it has it fastened to your head, like they almost as if they it's paste a, it, glue it's it, a whatever. Glue, okay. A strong glue, and they said it only that. Uh, the glue lasts six months. Hmm. That's that's gorilla glue. Six months. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I just uh, I think it doesn't matter what they say about it being a trend and all of that. That men cannot get away with doing that uh, and walking around with fake hair, even if it looks really good, without being made fun of and and yeah. t- you know talk crap about. Even though women can do it, women can run around and and brag about their fake hair and, and flex on their look how much I paid for my fake hair and all that and it's fine. Men men will never be able to get away with that. Yeah, you think. also can't do this slowly. No, it's like you if, can't just like, I'm letting it grow out. Yeah, like you just show up <laughs> one day and you've got a wig on. Yeah, that's like, it's oh the way it would have to be. Yeah, yep. it would have to be that way. Yep. Hey guys, mm-hmm. got a wig over the weekend. <laughs> Check it out. You know, yeah. <laughs> this is there. I'm gonna do it. I think you should. I'm going to do it. Please, please do it. We'll do it next. (laughs) It's radio. It's a podcast. It's the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. More next. Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong. Because this year, you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. Everything is laid out for you from things to do to restaurants to bars to shopping to unique weekend activities. And we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston. 
Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. Uh, let's see here. Hold on. Just d- talk amongst yourselves while I get this. Talk about, oh, okay. Well, the, top, the mm-hmm. biggest trending topics are still NCAA basketball tournament related. Yeah. Whether it's men's tournament, the women's tournament, there's a lot of stuff going around about <laughs> the NCAA basketball tournament. Uh, I don't want to anger anybody, but NC State is my team I'm pulling for now. Oh, really? They're on a they're on a run, and they went into overtime yesterday against the Cinderella Oakland team, and they won. Was it yesterday? I think it was. Or, or, uh, I'm sorry, it was Saturday, Saturday. night. But, um, yeah, I mean, they've won seven in a row. They're hot. It's just like you just feel like maybe there's something happening here. Yeah. And I'm rooting, I'm rooting for NC State heading into the Sweet 16. Yeah. TJ, did you watch any basketball over the weekend? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit Friday night. You do? Yeah. You get into it a little bit? No. <laughs> no, I mean, it was on, and I was I was watching it to be cordial. Yeah. Pe- I and people in my house wanted to watch it. Is the Lunar Eclipse today? Uh, I don't it, know, but it is trending. I don't okay. know. It's yeah. April 9th, I think. Oh, okay. I thought it was in March. So All right. just getting prepared. Either for, way, people are like, the end of the world's yeah. coming. Just shut up. We saw the solar eclipse. Yeah. That was lame. If so, and, and that happened during the day. Uh, so I can't imagine that the lunar eclipse is going to be like the hottest thing around. <laughs> like, yeah. Remember that? Oh, how, God, hor- yeah. how horrible that was! I, I think th- I thought it was pretty fascinating. That was not. That uh, was you not actually, Riggins, all you and TJ are... thought it was terrible. I thought it was really. That was wild to be a part of that. That was crazy. Driving four hours each way. It wasn't. It I, if it was happening in my backyard again, I wouldn't go out and see it. Uh, I mean, I, no. I'm sorry. It is to, the lunar eclipse is today. The uh, solar eclipse is in, on April eighth. Yeah. Oh, so there's a lunar eclipse going on right now? It says it says the 25th of uh, March. Yeah. yeah, I don't care. Yeah. Tonight, uh, though? It doesn't. I don't have that information. <laughs> Ace needs to set his alarm for whenever it's going on. <laughs> I like that. I think that stuff is fascinating to see. <laughs> oh, how the never, times have I changed. I had never seen a solar eclipse. I want to see another one. It was awesome. As I recall, you were just as eager to get out of there as everybody else. Well, I was eager to get out of there. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, I was ready to go because we were there was so much traffic. But I, Come on, don't change your tune now. But it was still incredible to, to witness. <laughs> hmm. uh, Taylor Swift, her so they they put her concert film up on Disney Plus, and people are saying this is bad news for Disney because it pulled in 4.6 million views like on the first week of its debut, which happened in the middle of March, and they said 4.6 million views. It's the biggest concert film ever, highest grossing. Uh, concert film ever and now that they moved it onto disney plus it got 4.6 million views out of the gate they paid 70 mi- 75 million dollars for it and it got less than 5 million views i watch tiktoks every day they get 10 million views i mean th- and you paid 75 million dollars for it so people are saying like it just can't compete now uh, so in other words people did not flood to disney plus and, and sign up to watch this movie it doesn't sound that way yeah. but it's like well it was in the in the yeah. theaters for months and they tried to hype it up by having like these songs put out on Good Morning America all week to get mm-hmm. people excited for it, but it just didn't really work. Yeah, it's kind of like in the late two, uh, late nineties um, um, and early two thousands when people go, oh, Pamela Anderson's in Playboy again. Yeah. Like, well, who hadn't seen her naked? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, come on, who's going looking at that? We've seen her. Okay, done that. Thanks. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. Everybody that has wanted to see Taylor has seen Taylor's concert. <laughs> Got it. I think that's true. Um, so my dad is out of town and my mom uh, got into some shenanigans over the weekend. I'll tell you what she was up to coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ show. Well, here we are another new year and you're again going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now. And consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table and Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time of your day. Leave the shopping, preparation, and cooking to Table and Twine. Get details at tableandtwine.com. That's tableandtwine.com. Of 
available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Uh, TJ, excellent edition of Small Town Adventures over the weekend. Thank you. You can watch that on social media at the Ace TJ show. It's really good. Uh, yeah, TJ was, was picking tulips. It was all about Jody. <laughs> mm. How embarrassing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so bad. No, it was really sweet. I thought that was really nice because Jody seemed in her element out there in that flower field. Mm-hmm. So what is the thing? You pay to pick flowers? Yeah, you pay $5 to go out there, and then it's a dollar per tulip that you cut. Oh, I mean, yeah. how 2024 is that? I know. You go pay to pick flowers. Mm-hmm. Um, that was that was exciting. My dad had an exciting weekend. He's down in Atlanta, Georgia. He's caddying for my my nephew who's playing in a golf tournament i've loved that story since you told us on friday that yeah he was so happy. he was really excited to go do it uh, my dad is the golfer in the family he taught me and my oldest brother how to play golf and not the greatest teacher in the world he's got very little patience uh and golf is all about fine tuning your swing and little slight adjustments and uh he he gets pretty frustrated pretty quickly but that also left my mom to her own devices And uh, she had been sick for uh, weeks now with uh, COVID, I think. And uh, talked to her over the weekend a little bit. And I said, what are you gonna do this weekend? She goes, oh, I've got so many things. I just haven't been out with my friends at all. I've been so sick. Uh, But tonight is ladies night at Brews down the street. They have $1 margaritas for us. I thought, why not? I was like, what what in the hell does that mean (laughs) my mom does not drink and uh she'll have like a a sip of wine at christmas it's ladies night at brews dollar margaritas for us from the uh, retirement community why not and i didn't respond to it uh and then five minutes later ten minutes later i get this just kidding i couldn't bear the thought of you you would think I would do that. <laughs> uh, I'm playing cards. We learned two new games, Screwed and Sevens. Really fun. I'm the fifth wheel, but uh, they said they would play games for five. I knew she wouldn't be going to a place called Brews <laughs> to have margaritas for a dollar. I was wondering. Well, I was 67 years old. That was my question was going to be, is that someplace that's in the community or is that outside? Like, How does that work? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It just sounded too much like a bar for her to and be in. I was about to speak up for her on her behalf and go well i mean maybe she's only going to spend a dollar <laughs> right you know it's one. not going just because they're cheap doesn't mean you have to have a lot of them yeah i thought i'm the the only <laughs> chance that that's even remotely real is if she gets like a virgin uh, margarita or uh, she's gonna have a diet coke but she, i couldn't bear the she thought so much she's like i couldn't bear the thought of you thinking i would do something like, <laughs> like to her that means like you're a gutter trash dirt person <laughs> If you go get dollar margaritas, that's the way she's thinking about it in her head. That's so funny. But she didn't. She uh, just go. Pl- she went and played sevens with all her lady oh. friends. Oh. <laughs> uh, there is uh, a way to get judged when you go pick up your deli sandwich. I'm going to tell you what not to do coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Those Christmas bills are coming due, and that's why our friend Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies, is here to help you with an equity line of credit. That's right. That way you don't have to refinance your first mortgage and get all the equity that you want out of your house. And that right, Ace? That's exactly what I did. <laughs> That's what I just did. I had such a good rate, I didn't want to refinance, but Richard helped me take money out of the equity to kind of get myself through the holidays and get set up for the first of the year. You can do it, too. It's very easy. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. That's homewithrichard.com. Today, every company is a technology company, but becoming a fully enabled digital workplace is not easy. That's why you have CompuCom to guide you, a proven leader in managed IT services. They'll do more than just get you ready for today. They'll get you ready for tomorrow. Go to CompuCom.com for details. Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. All right, so the Mega Millions and the Powerball each have drawings tonight and tomorrow. The Powerball is tonight, and that's at $800 million. It's like cash value 500 something. And then the Mega Millions is up to $1.1 billion, and that drawing happens tomorrow night. So almost $2 billion up for grabs between these two contests. And remember, I'm going to win them both. TJ's going to win them both somehow. Yep. You got numbers you play? No. Just going to go random generated. No, I may pick some numbers this time. 
Really? Mm-hmm. It's going all in. Yeah. I'm going to make it special. <laughs> so two point, uh, two, two, almost $2 billion up for grabs if you want to go get that. Um, a lot of franchise owners uh, of Subway locations are really upset with the company right now because they said the introduction of those meat slicers have just added time on the typical making of the sandwich. Mm -hmm. You got a fresh slice of the meat and it hasn't translated into more people going to Subway. So understandably, they're kind of upset. And uh, somebody put out an article uh, about the worst things you could do when you go order a sandwich at Subway and also ways you could quickly get judged for the sandwiches that you order. Uh, somebody comes in and asks for all the sauces and they have nine of them. Yeah. All the sauces all the on sauces. the sandwich. Why would you do that? Because you are you have no taste I, you're, <laughs> yeah. or you're just a gross. It's just way too much. Barbecue sauce, yeah. mayonnaise, uh, chipotle ranch, honey mustard, regular ranch. It's just a battle of flavors that no one no one's going to win. They said, yeah, it, said it just comes out like a soup. Yeah. That's disgusting. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> the extra toasted tuna sandwich, because what happens is you're, you're heating the tuna in that toaster oven like three times and it just gets like you know very fragrant inside yeah. the subway stores Ooh. that's really gross that's great somebody comes in one of their regulars and they get it rob your favorite is the meatball sub it's so good yeah what about a meat <laughs> it's so good so, yes it's delightful <laughs> there's a regular that comes in once a week gets the meatball sub orders a chocolate chip cookie and has them break up the chocolate chip cookie on top of the meatball sub yeah, that's disgusting. that is. I don't that, like that. <laughs> that could make me throw up. Um, yeah, other places saying too much sauce makes it into a bisque. Um, <laughs> and then the uh, meatball mayo sub, which is just meatballs, sauce, and four times extra mayo. Ugh. Four times. Four times. Mm. They're like, how much extra do you want? F uh, four x. Oh. Mayo, meat, and what? sauce. Like every bite, mm -hmm. mayo just must be running out of the bottom of the sandwich, like all over your hands and stuff. <laughs> it sounds really good. I don't know what they're complaining <laughs> about. <laughs> uh, I, I got criticized. Uh, it, well, here, here's... I got into a slight disagreement with somebody over dinner, and uh, I think I'm right. This person thinks... Um, I'm going to tell you the story next. <laughs> Live on your radio and anytime you want us, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Hi, I'm Thomas Davis, and let me tell you why I'm a proud member of Team Neogenics. If your nagging pain is keeping you from being active, do something about it. Join the long list of pros and average Joes who have found relief with our stem cell and regenerative therapies. After trying out the others, I decided to try Neogenics. My knees and shoulders haven't felt this good since my college days. If you want to get back in the game, do what I did. Visit Neogenics, where all you have to lose is pain. If you want all of the heating, air, and electrical work in your house done by the very best, then you need Bradham Brothers. They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to BradhamBrothers.com. Live each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Uh, everybody's going to Costco's like the hottest thing in the world, and, and, and everywhere in Asia, Costco's are popping up like crazy, and everybody seems to love going into Costco. Could you name the top five selling products at Costco? I found this out over the weekend. I was stunned. The top five like they, selling products they at sell, Costco. They sell more of these five things than anything else at Costco. Hot dogs. Hot dogs on the list. That's what I would have gone with. Mm. The one. Yeah. Hot dogs. That dollar fifty hot dog. The the combo dinner. Meal. I saw somebody post a tweet the other day that said cost of Costco hot dogs. And it said from 1984, every year, dollar yeah, it's, it's always been a dollar it never changed. Yeah. yeah, so rotisserie so, chicken, rotisserie chicken, also on the top five. Pizza, okay, three more. Pizza not on the list. Toilet paper, correct. That's three out of five. Two paper more. towels, close. Napkins, no. <laughs> toilet paper. What we said? Toilet he just paper. said toilet paper. He said paper towels, didn't he? No, I he think. said. To, Rob said toilet paper, and you said yes, and then I said paper towels, and you <laughs> oh. said close. <laughs> no, toilet paper. Toilet paper. <laughs> 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 All right, one more. Wine. No, what? gas. 
Oh, gas, really? oh yeah, yeah, gas okay. stations because you get it. I guess a cheaper price on yeah. gas yeah. out yeah. there. Um, and that's all wonderful. Oh, and bacon's on there too. Bacon's on the list, of course. Um, I went out to dinner over the weekend with a friend of mine. Uh, Chinese meal. I haven't had Chinese in a long, long time. And she is more uh, traveled than I am, and uh, f- uh, fancies herself a um, uh, a traveler. <laughs> And I'm not. Not that I'm not interested in doing that kind of stuff. It's just never been for me. So we're eating Chinese, and she uses uh, chopsticks. And I am never used chopsticks. We didn't grow up using them. I'm a white person. And <laughs> her insistence on me using chopsticks uh, really got on my nerves. Because uh, she, she uses the chopsticks and uses them well. And she goes, just try them. I said, well, I, I really can't. I, I've tried them. They're, they're just not for me. And she goes, well, they probably have... Uh, like a little trainer chopstick, like where they put the little stickers on the end of it yeah. and they help you close them. I was like, I'd really rather not do that. Uh, and then throughout the meal, she kept bringing it up. Why have you just tried? Let me see how you do it. And then maybe I can help you. And mm-hmm. at one point I was like, just shut up and eat your food. <laughs> I don't, I've told you, I don't know how to use them and I don't want to use them. Let it go. Let it go. Uh, and she did not let it go. And <laughs> I, isn't that the most irritating thing ever? And she uh, couldn't understand yeah, my frustration. Because you've about made it clear, mm. I've tried them. I don't care to use them. And even if I was really good at them, I've told you I don't want to. Yeah. That should be enough. And when that's not enough, that's when I get mad. <laughs> I really don't like that. Um, did you eventually say something to her as if to yeah. say that is enough? Uh, yeah, but not, not in a, I did it in a much more passive aggressive way. Um, without raising my voice, which sometimes you realize, oh, I should have just raised my voice because <laughs> it would have been less uh, damaging. Yeah. Uh, but let it go. You know, that's the lesson for 2024. I agree. Let it mm-hmm. go. Leave Shut people up. alone. Leave people alone. Yeah. He doesn't want to use the chopsticks. I'm paying for dinner. Chopsticks. Leave mm-hmm. it alone. Yeah. <laughs> so that was my weekend. <laughs> now trending is next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Maybe you have heard that this is not the time to be buying a house. Well, you have heard wrong, and you haven't heard from our friend Richard Takato from the Richard Takato Companies is here today. Is this a time to buy a house, Richard? Well, the thing I tell everybody, it's time to buy a house when you need one. And there's always so much <laughs> hype about this. Or that, you know, if you need a house, you should contact us. You know, it's, it's nonsense, TJ, not to buy a house for me. And this is why. We have the mortgage company. We have the realtors. We have the closing agencies. And we discount everything. That's the thing that you don't hear in the purchase market. You get a great deal. Not only are you going to buy a house, we're going to give you unbelievable on the mortgage, help you out with the closing. It's something that really needs to be talked about in the market because nobody does it. It's one place where you can do everything and save yourself some money in the process. Yeah, that's the thing. Car dealers talk about buy a car for me, save a bunch of money. Well, buy a house for me and save a ton of money. It's, it's that simple. It's super easy to do. Just yeah. call 704-800-4719 or homewithrichard.com. When it comes to buying or selling a house, you know, there, there are all kinds of people that can help you do that. But not like the Temple team at Keller Williams Realty. They are so much more than just real estate salespeople. Find out by going to acetj.com slash temple team. If it's trending, it's here now. Now, now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. So for the first time in 20 years in California, a a mountain lion has killed somebody. Oh, A 21-year-old guy was out looking for antlers in the woods. I'm not sure why, but he's with his 18-year-old brother, and a mountain lion attacked, killed the 21-year-old, and when uh, park rangers found him, uh, the mountain lion was on the 18 year old brother and the 18 year old suffered serious injuries to his face and was just hovering over them eating them uh but it's the first time that's happened in over 20 years so oh. they were able to locate the mountain lion and uh kill the mountain lion so scary scary stuff i've never had an encounter with mountain lion but i think it's more common around here but see if you're gonna kill the mountain lion anyway if it attacks somebody why not allow the people to carry guns up into the mountains with them and then they can kill the mountain lion as it's about to kill them they don't allow them to do that no well, no it's california but not really? california yeah. it's very difficult to get a, a permit to carry in california mm-hmm. wow um so that was devastating news 
Uh, I have not heard that people don't like Sasha Baron Cohen, you know, uh, Borat, Ali G. Rebel Wilson, in her new memoir, has an entire chapter devoted to her experience working with Sasha Baron Cohen. And they worked on a movie called, it was called Brimsby, I think. It was out in 2016, not well reviewed, but basically talks about working with this enormous, uh, uses a very bad word to describe your butt. Um, and how awful it is. And apparently she says he's hired a PR crisis team to send her threatening letters uh, asking her to take out this entire chapter of her book. So I'm now I'm <laughs> definitely curious to read that. I mean, if, if all that is true, you definitely want to hear what she has to say. But I haven't heard anybody ever say that Sasha Baron Cohen is not a nice guy. I could see it, though. Really? Mm -hmm. You see him not being a nice guy? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. he's got to be kind of twisted and he's got to be a, a unique up in the head. Yeah, to do some of the stuff that he does. Yeah, I love yeah. it. I love some good celebrity drama because it's meaningless. Uh, the Powerball, the Mega Millions, there's $2 million up for grabs. People are talking about that and their chances to win. Plus a lot of NCAA tournament news, men's and women's. Um, and those are just a few things that are now trending. It's for men. Admittedly, everybody knows this. But women love it too. Next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitron. Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong. Because this year, you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. Everything is laid out for you from things to do to restaurants to bars to shopping to unique weekend activities. And we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston. Don't just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. I don't know if it's the same for everybody, but when I turn my TV on, <clears throat> the first thing that pops up is a screen that has all of the streaming services on it. And yep. there's usually an ad there. And all weekend long, that ad was for the new Roadhouse. Um it's available on prime video or something. I don't know. I didn't watch it because I was busy with basketball and other stuff, but I did see numerous times on Twitter and TikTok over the weekend, guys commenting on the movie. And the comment every time was, Hey, uh, before watching the new roadhouse, watch the original and then go to bed <laughs> <laughs> or watch the original, then go do something else. Their point was, apparently, the new good. Roadhouse movie sucks. <laughs> and this was from guys that were critiquing it, like, hey, this is a terrible movie. Don't even bother. Is it a movie or a series? I thought it was it's a, a series. No, it's a movie. I think oh. it's a movie. So I haven't seen it for myself. I don't know if that's true, but I saw that on Twitter and on TikTok from guys talking about, hey, <laughs> I, that was my favorite one. Was guy, one guy goes, uh, you know, if you don't, before seeing the new Roadhouse, see the old one and then just go to bed. Because it's not worth wasting your time watching the new one. Yeah, I wasn't planning on seeing it. Yeah. But it got to think, what are some, that Roadhouse, a, one of the great guy movies of all time. Like every guy seems to love the original Roadhouse. Um, and when it comes on, it's just, it's, it's something I will stop and watch at least 5, 10, 15 minutes of every single time if not the rest of the movie kind of depends on where it is and how much time i've got but it's good it's a stopper every time you stop right there um but what are the guy movies that women love more importantly why do you love them now granted most of the answers are going to be something about because so and so is so hot odds are i'm guessing based on some of the responses that i've seen already my wife loves sports movies. Really? Yeah, she does. Um, you know, the, not movies about the sport itself, but but you know, 
like that um, when Mark Wahlberg played the guy that played for the Eagles or the, those, those types of, those of stories. More of those inspirational type stories. In yeah. Okay, yeah. I can see that. Like the Kurt Warner movie, yeah. even with the bad acting. You know, she loved it. <laughs> At the Ace TJ Show, ladies only, what is the guy movie that you love and why? These answers may be more varied than you think. Next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. What a joy it is to be back with our old friend Richard Takato of the Richard Takato Companies. Is that the way you wanted me to say it? I think so. <laughs> that was we really know each other. Great. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, appreciate it. Hey, Richard, will you sell my house? I'll guarantee you an offer, and then I'll flip it for forty or fifty thousand dollars profit. <laughs> 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 or I could list it for you. I just did. A lady called since she wanted to sell her house. She'd been offered two hundred sixty thousand dollars for it. I sold it for three hundred and nine thousand dollars. Do the math on that one, Ace. I mean, that's money she makes. That's money that profits her. That's her benefit by using you to sell her house. Yeah, instead of me buying it guaranteed, yeah. I listed it. And she made $49,000 by working with a real estate agent. It's very easy. Here's what you do. It all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. The Richard Takato Companies. There's such flexibility there. You'll be astonished at all the things you can do. Again, homewithrichard.com. The Richard Takato Companies. It makes no sense to work with anybody but me. As winter packs its bags and spring settles in, the flowers, they are blooming. And as Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress, the deals are booming. You write poetry? Does one ask a fish if it swims? Or a bird if it flies? It was a long winter. Love where you live, Lake Norman, with up to $1,500 in free furniture with the purchase of a mattress sleep system. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. You okay there, Rob? I didn't know you were going to start already. Sorry. (laughs) 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 Poor timing. My bad. Uh, At the Ace TJ show, the the new roadhouse is is being universally panned by by people online, but... Ladies only, what is the guy movie that you love, and why do you love it? Couple I didn't expect. Holland said, definitely Fight Club. It's a phenomenal story. The book is really good. Excellent, as a matter of fact. Um, <laughs> what, book, TJ? The book is better. She liked the book? That's that's not a thing. <laughs> What's not a thing? Books? Books being better than movies. Okay. Uh, Melissa said the original Fast and Furious. It was good because of the chemistry with the original cast. Not as good as the book. <laughs> um, uh, the, uh, here's another one. Fight Club. Jessalyn says Fight Club. Never cared to watch a movie about guys fighting till a few years ago. I finally watched it and absolutely loved it. I never saw it coming. Yeah, that was a good movie. Yeah, I've never uh, seen it. It's good. No, I read the book. <laughs> uh, Sue Ellen said the Rocky movies. I love boxing, I love Stallone, and I love the adrenaline rush endings. Okay, fair enough. Um, what I was trying to find, there was one in there. Uh, Lonesome Dove, Christy says. It's just a great movie all the way around. I've never heard of that. Yeah, It's a, a Western miniseries yeah. starring Robert Duvall, I think. Yeah, now Bobby Jean says The Godfather. Is The Godfather considered a guy movie, or is it just, I mean, it's considered one of the top three greatest movies ever made i think some of the sequels would be considered guy movies yeah. but the first one was forever she said she says the godfather probably just because it's a it's a, a great movie all the way around a bunch of people answered but didn't give a reason that's kind of frustrating <laughs> i don't know why that bothers me so much <laughs> what was on there what, what did they say uh the outsiders uh gladiator the patriot fight club <gasps> patriot macy says moneyball gets my dad hyped Okay, so Macy likes it. I, I think Moneyball is a phenomenal movie. I love it. But she, she likes it because it gets her dad hyped. Nice. Uh, Die Hard, Braveheart, Braveheart, Terminator, and Tiffany's reason is, I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> I like that part where he says, I'll, I'll be, be back. back. <laughs> that's, that's fair. I still say it every time I leave the house. Yeah, oh, I'll man. be back. <laughs> uh, and there's a story. I don't want this to be a bummer to anybody, but there's a good chance that your high school bully might have been right. Next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. 
You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitron. It's more than just a great room that makes the Hyatt-centric South Park Charlotte such a special hotel. It's the great restaurants, the great bar, the great meeting rooms, and a superior location. Make reservations and get details at acetj.com slash Hyatt. Available when you want it. How you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. If you were bullied in high school or in school in general, right now you can picture that person. Like you never forget that high school bully. Maybe you forgive them. Maybe you become friends later on. But you never forget that person. I don't think of what they did to you. Well, <laughs> this may, may make it even worse because a team in England tracked 7,000 people born in 1970. They looked at how their teachers assessed their social and emotional skills when they were 10 years old. Then they checked back when these people were in their mid-40s. In general, the ones who got bullied were making less than the kids who bullied them which challenges the idea that bullies eventually get what they deserve. Uh, the researchers think it's because teachers, at least in the 80s and 90s, may have created an environment that catered to kids who were more aggressive. Said, quote, it's possible that our classrooms are competitive places and that children adapt to win that competition with aggression. They take that through to the workplace where they continue to compete aggressively for the best paid jobs, end quote. So the bullies are just more aggressive by nature. Even though they're jerks, they just tend to be more aggressive people. And when they get to work, they continue to be more aggressive people, which makes them uh, higher achievers. Being aggressive. Is the theory. We didn't have any bullies we in my, in my school. I don't, I don't, we didn't either. You know, because um, around my school in Winfield, Louisiana, everybody looked at it like uh, any given school day. Anybody can get there whipped. Yep. <laughs> so it's not just like one person running around thinking that he can whoop everybody. Yeah, we didn't have that much. Chances either. are he can't. Maybe today, maybe not tomorrow. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. Did y'all have bullies, Riggins? Sure. Like people who you knew. Oh, that kid's a bully. Yeah. Okay. Did they ever bully you or did you stay away from them? No, I don't know that I got bullied, but yeah. I mean, I, I got my shoe stolen the first day of public school. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't call him a bully. He was probably just a bad kid. <laughs> <laughs> I just call him a thief. Is there, is there a difference between I don't a think bully and a bad kid? I think so. Okay. Mm. So you, <laughs> yeah, he didn't hurt my feelings. Yeah. I think a bully tries to hurt your feet, like kill your spirit, but uh, just stealing somebody's shoes. Yeah, I he, think just, he probably just came from a broken home. Yeah, he that didn't doesn't want to make kill him a your bully. spirit. He just <laughs> wanted to take your shoes. <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to your money and things like a cash out refi, you hear a lot of stuff these days. Information is flying around, but here's the bottom line. You want someone you can trust. Well, here is someone that we trust. Richard Takato and the Richard Takato Companies. We worked with Richard for years, and you know all the ins and outs, and more importantly, you give everybody options. That's right. We have a lot of options. You know, This one lady, we just refinanced her house, paid off all of her credit card debts. Got re she even paid her car off. She's saving $1,000 a month. So that really changes her life and her you know, her financial well-being. Yeah. And she didn't have to make a house payment until 2024. So, I mean, there's not a better time to do it is when you need the extra money every month. They call it cash out is what we call it in the business. Cash, cash out. out. <laughs> That's right. Cash out. So it's one free five-minute phone call right now, 704-800-4719, 704-800-4719, or go to homewithrichard.com. Do it today. You'll be so glad you did. The Richard Takato Companies.